What's up, guys, and welcome to your App Store update for Monday, March 18th. I'm Justin. I'm Anthony. I'm a little bit low energy this morning. I'm a little... I'm tired, too. <laughs> but. Well, I don't have... I partied too hard over St. Patrick's Day. I don't think that's probably why you're no, no, low no. energy. I didn't even bother. I, didn't, I forgot that yesterday was St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, I definitely... I did the opposite of forget. Um... This is the App Store update, so as always, the App Store update compiles the game, launches, price drops, and updates for any given period. This is a new game today called Totems, Anthony. I um, like the art. At least the menu art's cool. Yeah, it's sort of a cool, you know, strategy board game. I'm playing on the United States map. You don't have to play on the United States map. The way that it works is you drag, you know, your totem over to take over a territory. And if okay. someone... And now the AI is taking it's like territory. Risk? It's a little bit like Risk in that it's territory control, but sort of the thing is, so these are all monkey territories over here, and if I had a monkey, let me see if I can swap my tiles out and get a monkey. If you place like a matching totem... You get more guys? Yeah, you take over that chunk of territory. So it's like, I, I have a... How do you know what... I have an elephant, so if I lay it on these elephant territories, then I take all three elephant territories. How do you know if it's a... Like the icon. I know, but I'm it. just saying it's not on all the tiles, I guess. Um, I mean, it is. It's just the ones that were taken in previous uh, turns. Okay, okay, okay. So you see on the East Coast, there's those three elephants, and then the most recent one laid was on the top. So it's he has like, 16 there. Yeah, so it keeps getting, like, the territories grow bigger and bigger and bigger as people take them over, and then someone else lays a tile wow. and takes over all of them. And then it becomes, like, a strategy game of, like, if I had an elephant, I would probably not want to use it right now. I would want to save it till I'm closer to the end of the game and then try to capture all the territories at once. That's basically it. <laughs> it's cool, though, because now all those territories are connected, so if you put a bear, you get all of those. Yeah, you would get all of those bears, so let's take this take this bear. But see, here's the thing. like, Someone's probably going to take it before the end of the game. Because like, yeah, I might have wanted to sit on it until closer to the end. Um, we're not going to play through the whole game. That's basically it. There's not really a campaign mode. There's not really a... It's 99 cents. It's universal. You know, um, I think, actually... We better make sure it has multiplayer before I just say it has multiplayer. Sure seems like a game that would benefit from having multiplayer. Yeah, I mean, playing against the AI would only be so much fun, right? Um, yeah, so it's got online multiplayer. Okay. Yeah. So, hmm. I, you know. Seems I, okay. Yeah, exactly. I thought it was totally fine. This is another game launched today. This is one I'm a little bit more excited about. Uh, it's a game called Unmechanical. Okay. Powered by Unreal. Yeah. And I think, uh, I guess don't quote me on this, but it might be like on PC and other platforms too. Okay. Yeah, I haven't heard of it, but that doesn't mean anything. It could be out on Steam. I just, just games sneak out on Steam and stuff all the time. Yeah, they do. So it's a physics puzzle kind of adventure game. So far it's been pretty passive, like passive in the sense that I don't think you ever get like any weapons or anything. You're just sure. kind of trying to, you play as this little hovering robot guy. It's got kind of long load times, but then once you're in the game, it seems to be pretty... Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I still don't know how optimized Unreal is necessarily. I mean, it can run an iPad just fine, but the initial load times might be a little more. Tough. Yeah, I mean, I th it's on a game to game basis. Like, stuff like Infinity Blade is fine. So, you play as this little hovering robot guy, and where you tap on the screen, like, he'll fly to okay. that area. It's cute. And then, so far, I don't know if this changes later on, but, like, this early in the game, all the puzzles have involved around you have this mechanic of latching uh, onto things. Okay. Okay, he's got a little bit of magnetism or something. Yeah, like he oh, so I can't can I not go down there? I can't go down there. And so then that's what you do. You go through the environment and like, you know, you pick up blocks to activate switches and uh, those that that, that that thing that I just traveled through is like it's in portal. Point. Yeah, like you can't take things with you through uh, it. Aha. So you look like uh, kind of like one of the reminds me of one of the robots from uh, uh, God Batteries Not Included. Is that what that movie was called? Oh, God. yeah. It took you way back. Oh, do you see that? Yeah, something went in there. Yeah. So so far there hasn't been much of a story. Like it's told the story through the gameplay. Like I'm traveling through this environment and like oh, is he shy? Should I check and see if he's in there? I think you should. Oh, okay, so you're going to need blocks to open up all these. Yeah, and the blocks were back around at the top, right? So I would, if I were to solve this puzzle, I would go back through and get those other two blocks. Um, He's holding that thing closed. Yeah, he is. I like this so far. I'm definitely intrigued enough to keep playing it. It's yeah, I mean, I think it's, touch it looks cool. It's got a cool art style to it, too. Art Great. goes a long way for iOS games. Absolutely. You know, good sound, good music. You know, I like that it's, there's not really a story, but it's sort of you're going through these environments and learning about a story through that way. It's uh, $2.99, and it's also universal. 
Uh oh, we just took it up. <laughs> yeah, three very, very different games today. And that's what I love about the App Store so much is that, you know, all these games are valid. Like, if you want a board strategy game, if you want sort of a, a physics puzzle game, or if you want a 2D shooter, these are all games that came out within, you know, the last day or two. Oh man, we got some Galaga going on. Yeah, so this is, uh, well, I already forgot the name, Plasma Sky. Um, you'll get some power ups here that I'll show you. And I'm going through like the campaign mode wh where I think there's like 80 waves that you have to try to beat and they each have their own different... Oh wow, you really got like centipede there for a second. Yeah. It's cool too that uh, you're doing these waves and I like that it's not controlled with virtual sticks. You're just dragging your finger. I imagine it shoots automatically. Yeah, it's auto shoot and I'm just dragging my finger where I want the ship to be. Um, I, you know, I sort of like the vector art style. I like that the waves, I mean, you're right that they do reference Galaga. They did reference asteroids. I just picked up a slow time power up. So it's got these different power ups. You eventually get, is that what this power up is? Yeah, so I get, you get the wingman power up like in Galaga to have like a little guy at your side firing. Gotta collect those little thingies for points. Yeah. All the points. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, and you, you collect the, you know, it's sort of risk versus reward if you want to collect all the, all the, um, you know, little bonus points that are falling from destroyed enemies. Again, like there's not really much to it. It's kind of simple, but you know, I'm digging it. This is another one that I like enough, you know, enough to sort of keep playing. Is it how much is it? Is it a dollar? Is that what it was? I don't remember. I think it, it was is, a dollar. It is one ninety nine. Okay, it's still. Yeah, it's one ninety nine. Couple bucks, also, whatever. Know, so. Um, those are all the game launches that happened today, or um, you know, I think I pulled some in from over the weekend as well. We do have some sort of notable price drops. There's some price drops that I'm actually not going to show you here, but um, you know, just so people know, Robokill 2 on the iPhone is free. Zombie Bunnies is free. Wipeout's normally one ninety nine. It's ninety nine cents. Wipeout, who cares? Don't buy it. Uh, Wipeout's kind of bad. Yeah. Um, we showed a game last week called Pwn Combat Hacking, where don't be fooled by its terrible name. It was actually kind of cool. Um, and that was one ninety nine, and it's ninety nine cents. But let's actually show you a few games. This is a New World Colony, and this is free today. And I expected, based on like the very very generic art, like I did not expect anything from this. But I'm actually pretty impressed with it. It's sort of a combination of Risk and Settlers of Catan, I guess. Um, so it's territory control, where all those blue territories are mine and all the red territories are his. And I can spend resources to invade my opponent's territories. And then, uh, so that's my turn. Now the AI is going to take their turn. Um, you know, and he's taking over territories or doing whatever it is. It's an interesting way of doing it, yeah, because in Catan you couldn't really invade or anything. So. No, no. So it's definitely more aggressive than that. So I just earned a bunch of resources, and I can use those resources to, you know, build walls that make it harder to take over my territories. Or, you know, you can build things on squares. So it's like if I build a sawmill in my forest, then that tile will generate more resources per turn. And the goal of each game is to earn colony points. And you earn those, you get bonuses for controlling like entire regions. Like I control this entire plains region, so I get more colony points for that, for example. And if I were to upgrade to, you know, you can trade resources. Um, sell, sell, buy, buy. Yeah. Again, it's sort of hard to demo, but I went through the whole tutorial and like learned the strategy of how it works. The game seems really balanced. Like you want to expand as fast as you can, but you also want to build things on your tiles to make them, you know, more uh, productive for you. You know, when the enemy's starting to invade you, you need to spend your resources on defending. But uh, right. then when you're doing that, you're not spending them on other stuff. Like it seemed, I was pretty impressed with it. And it's another one that you can play on the a against the AI, or it has online multiplayer, and it's free today. So. I mean, if you like board games, you like strategy games. Um, you free. Know, yeah, I went in with pretty low expectations, and I ended up being pretty impressed. Would you play that? I think so. I like Catan a lot. It, like you said, it's hard to demo, though, right? Yeah, I mean, and again, don't. Um, the art in that one was not great. So was, far, I'm a big fan of uh, Unmechanical so far. Yeah, Unmechanical is really good. But again, that was uh, actually maybe I should reiterate. Then That was New World Colony, and it was free. So, I mean, people should check it out. This is VR Mission. And this, and this is uh, also free today. It's an obvious take on Solid Snake. Okay. Like, especially because that game had VR missions. Yeah, I'll turn it down a little. You turn that down. Um, again, this is sort of another simple 2D top-down stealth game. Um, this mission is teaching me about vision, the vision cones. Oh my god, it have. really is like classic Metal Gear. Yeah, 100%. For sure. He has the bandana and everything. And so it's teaching you like, don't snap. It will make sound. Yeah, don't step on that. And I don't know, like, if this is supposed to be a VR mission, 
Like, I don't know why they didn't use that VR mission art style. Oh, like where it's all holographic? Yeah. And there was different objectives there. I just sort of blasted through it. But, like, each stage has a few different objectives for people to try to complete. Um, the controls are a little clunky. You know, I'm not wild about virtual sticks. Yeah. I feel like a virtual D-pad always works better. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, you're fine. Oh, you're fine. Okay, you're sorry. fine. You're fine. You're fine. What's trap floor He's going to fall through the floor. I bet. I will? Well, where am I supposed to go? Okay, I guess I can just go. Oh, so if I get caught, let's just, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, you get can killed I? very fast. Okay, yeah. so don't get caught is the rule. Yeah. So, I, you know, I'm not radically impressed with VR mission, but I like the art a lot. And it's free. Yeah, and it's free. A little bit clunky to control. Uh, oh my nameless. God, what is this? This is Nameless the Hacker RPG. <laughs> okay. And this is normally four bucks, and uh, today it's two bucks, so it's half off. Okay. So, um, I wasn't thinking about showing this one, but I actually kind of like the battle system, like the hacking battle system. So I'm trying to hack into this server. Okay. And you have different skills, right? And so you're trying to lower their points, and then they, you know, do things like attack you back. And I just think it's kind of a clever. It's a clever battle system, right? Or a clever premise. The battle system itself might be normal turn-based stuff, but instead of two fantasy dudes hacking away at each other, it's like you hacking into a server. It's a bunch of IT nerds trying to keep you out. Yeah. And this game supposedly, like, I'm not super familiar with it, but it supposedly has, uh, like, you know, it's like a 12-hour campaign. Um, it's got these sort of elaborate cutscenes. Rough, blah, blah, skip the text. I love how Japanese characters always have the like the little tear <laughs> the little drops. sweat thing. Like yeah. they're constantly having the sweat drops. The big giant ones. Oh! Should we scan the file or not scan the file? Well, of course we you scan we the file. We should obviously scan the file. What? Hacking my security? I like his little fruit. Computer. I won't let you get away this time. Yeah. So I don't. I have no idea how like trashy or not trashy the story is, but you know, it's an indie RPG with sort of an innovative, inno innovative battle system. I approve. Yeah, exactly. Totally. Like, this is totally something I could see myself just, like, playing on the train on the way to work, right? Yeah, I think the story looks totally skippable, but... You are, well, we are skipping it all. Maybe this is the greatest thing you've ever seen. No, and you I'm, have no I'm idea. still reading it as it appears. And There is a lot of dialogue between missions. I'm tapping as fast as I can. Oh, and you also get these cards, right? So it's sort of got this card-collecting battling system. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Still all bad on un mechanical. Yeah. Now this all other games pale in comparison. This virtual pet game's free. So where's your pet? He's over in the corner. I think there's stinky stuff that I need to clean up, maybe. What's the poop? What's that poop icon? This is really old so school. So it's like a Tamagotchi clone. Yeah, this is really old school in the sense that I can't even tap these icons on the screen. I have to tap this A, B, and C Yeah, it's literally mimicking one of those old handheld things. Yeah, for sure. Okay, there. I, I cleaned up the poop. And That's then, your pet. Yeah, I can feed him. Or maybe I already fed him, so I can't feed him right now. Well, I don't know exactly how this works. Yawn. Yeah. If you if you like Tamagotchi. No. For, Those were cool like 14 years ago or for whatever For fans it was. of the genre. <laughs> God. Anthony. Um, and then there's a Battleship clone called Battle Friends at Sea. We're not even going to show it. But it's like Battleship. Yeah. Okay. I'm mechanical. That's the clear winner today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think I agree. I, I think New World Colony, if you like board games like strategy games, uh, that's a free download. You should pick it up. All Mechanical looks very cool. And Plasma Sky was even Also, I'm decent. still going to give a shout out. On a, I'd like to see it on the show at some point, but Unstoppabot, made by our old coworker, Nick Colin. Mm, yeah. Free to download. We should. Let's Little do, platformer. Just remind me. We'll do Unstoppabot. I just keep always forgetting in the morning. Yeah. So this has been your App Store update for Monday, March 18th. I always have a little cheat sheet with my date here because I yep. got it wrong like three days Th in a row. Who, who keeps track of the date anymore? That's what my phone's for. Exactly. Um, so for all the hottest news on you know these and the other big mobile games, you can keep it locked to IGN.